I'm pleased to present the 2009 Director of Education's report. This year's report provides more extensive information with regards to the operation and activities of the Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario. It celebrates our successes in student achievement, faith development, and the effective use of our financial resources. This year's report is longer than in the past as a result of the requirement to provide more details as mandated by the Ministry of Education. There are so many people who contribute to the daily success of our school board. Our staff across the system do an outstanding job every day. Their work ensures that our board provides quality Catholic education to the children and parents we serve. I wish to thank the many volunteers who work within our system. Parish priests, parents, Catholic School Council, the Special Education Advisory Committee, the Parent Involvement Committee, the Catholic Education Coalition, and the Good Samaritan Trust Fund Committee. All continue to contribute to the success of our board. Each of you makes a difference in the lives of the children in our schools. I want to extend heartfelt thanks to our local bishops, including Bishop Paul-Andre de Roche, Archbishop Brendan O'Brien, and Archbishop Terence Prendergast. The guidance and leadership they provide is so much appreciated by our entire school community. As a Catholic community of faith, we believe it is our responsibility to educate the whole child, mind, heart, body, and soul. As you view this report, you will see the many activities and programs that ensure our board does just that. In August 2009, we introduced a new board theme, We Walk in Good Company. Over the next two years, this theme will be celebrated and embraced by our entire school community. I invite each of you to participate in school and board activities that will make this theme come alive. I also want to thank the parents and guardians who send their children to our schools. It is not a responsibility that we take lightly, it is one we embrace each and every day. In September of 2009, all support staff, teachers, administrators, and trustees, 1,600 people in all, gathered for our second board-wide faith day. As a Catholic community, this faith day allowed us to reflect on our board theme, We Walk in Good Company. All those in attendance were asked to bring back the messages they heard to their own Catholic school communities. Every year, all grade 10 students take part in the Justice Youth Day. It's a day-long character-building conference. Last year, the theme placed a strong emphasis on our call to confront issues of global economic injustice, breakout sessions on topics ranging from the Mexican economy to fair trade empowered our students to take action against poverty. The Catholic Education Coalition continues to be an active voice in the board and in the province. This group is made up of trustees, senior administration, principals, teachers, priests, and parents who meet to plan activities to celebrate and highlight Catholic education. This year, the Coalition renewed its mandate with the development of a new mission and vision statement. Catholic Education Week 2009 had staff and students reflecting on Scripture as good news for all. A Mass celebrated by the Most Reverend Brendan O'Brien, Archbishop of Kingston, brought together many partners in Catholic education. Throughout the week, our school held open houses, presentations, celebratory Masses, and numerous other activities which invited members of the Catholic community into our schools. As part of our board's response to the Ministry of Education's Character Development Initiative, posters in both English and French showcasing the seven Catholic virtues were developed and distributed to each of our schools. As Sister Claire Fitzgerald once said, we continue to focus not only on what the child has learned, but on who they have become. Our Parent Involvement Committee provides excellent leadership and support to Catholic school councils by encouraging participation in events such as the annual Catholic School Council Summit. It's an excellent way for parents to learn about strategies to assist children with homework, literacy, numeracy, and technology. This committee will continue to focus on parent engagement. The Curriculum Department continues to support teachers in implementing evidence-based literacy and numeracy strategies. Our teachers regularly engage in professional dialogue regarding assessment practices and student learning. A common writing assessment tool which aligns the Ontario language curriculum was introduced in grades 1 to 8 last year. These writing samples are used so that teachers can mark student work collaboratively and plan instructional next steps to meet the needs of all students. 
the process will continue to increase consistency in assessment practices across grades, divisions, and schools. A solid foundation in numeracy gives students the widest range of choices in their academic career and beyond. For the 2009-2010 school year, numeracy support at the 7-10 to 10 level will be enhanced with the addition of a curriculum coach who will be working with teachers in both the intermediate and senior grades. Numeracy support at the grades 1-6 to 6 level will be provided by the elementary coaches who will be working within the classrooms, supporting teachers with model lessons, co-teaching, and the three-part math lesson. In 2008 and 2009, schools were able to offer before and after school tutoring programs focusing on literacy and numeracy to help students increase their critical thinking and problem-solving skills. In addition, in some schools, college and university students provided in-class tutoring during the instructional day in the areas of writing, reading, and mathematics. Our students continue to show progress on the primary and junior education quality and accountability office assessments. In particular, the primary and junior writing results indicate that there are no students scoring below a level 2. In reading and writing, the board is on track to reach the provincial target of 75% for our primary and junior students. For grade 6 mathematics, the board is focused on developing students' problem-solving skills. Specific strategies for the coming year include dedicated board numeracy coaches and consultants and school-based Catholic professional learning community meetings that focus on the three-part math lesson. The TALL initiative is a literacy project which supports grades 9 and 10 applied English, locally developed English, and learning strategies teachers in implementing the curriculum reading expectations. Building on last year's successful grade 9 project, this year's team wrote a ready-to-use reading unit of study for grade 10 teachers, which focuses on questioning and text forms. Each unit contains strategies, the reading framework, design down planning, assessment for learning, and the gradual release of responsibility. Using the Catholic professional learning community model, teachers from each school will work together to plan and organize the implementation of the grade 10 units of study. The TALL initiative is a joint venture with student success. The Catholic District School Board of Eastern Ontario is committed to helping all students succeed. This year, the board will focus on the unique strengths and needs of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit students by encouraging participation in the voluntary self-identification. Building relationships with the local Aboriginal community is a priority as we move forward in implementing the framework. Our board continues to expand our intensive French program offered at the grade 5 level in seven schools. The program is an enhancement of the core French program that offers students a period of intense exposure to French. The Specialist High Skill Major is a highly regarded specialized program that allows secondary students to focus and connect their learning within an economic sector. We now offer our students 12 exciting programs in construction, arts and culture, health and wellness, hospitality and tourism, transportation, business, and the environment. This program continues to enhance our students' transition from secondary school to apprenticeship training, colleges, university, and the workplace. Increasing student achievement and supporting the well-being of our exceptional learners continues to be the focus for our special education efforts. We are striving to raise the bar so that students achieve higher standards, meet student-specific goals, and close the gap between potential and performance. An exhibition of artwork from students with special needs entitled, Without Exception, Exceptional Art from Beautiful Minds, presented a unique perspective on the world from our talented young artists in our board. Prints of their work are now being sold to help raise funds for our Good Samaritan Trust Fund. This year, our board created a series of magazines identifying the framework of the critical reading, writing, thinking components for our unique models of Frog, Hawk, and Stomp to support all learners. The magazine's systematic and explicit instruction, assessment for, as, and of learning, and differentiated instruction explain and expand on the foundations for our learning for all. Restorative Practices in Catholic Schools was successfully launched in 18 of our school communities. This whole school approach, a collaborative effort between the special education and religious and family life education departments, focuses on dealing with conflict by building, maintaining, and repairing relationships. 
Support around safe schools policies and procedures resulted in further development and refinement of our programs and procedures for schools, codes of conduct, bullying prevention and intervention, progressive discipline, and for support for students facing suspensions and expulsions. Through the lens of the school effectiveness framework, we review students' learning in all schools with particular emphasis on district review schools. During this past year, there was significant progress made in bringing school improvement plans to life with strong connections to the board improvement plan. Each school developed a Catholic professional learning community plan to ensure that provisions of a focused teacher in-service related to particular goals established by each school. This strategy evolves on a continuous basis with new steps being implemented each year. The Board is developing an equity and inclusive education policy in keeping with the guidelines set out by the Ministry of Education. Staff have participated in ministry training and meetings in order to prepare for the development and full implementation of the strategy. An equity and inclusive education policy and religious accommodation guidelines will be in place for September 2010. Our active student senate gathered for regular meetings throughout the school year under the capable leadership of our student trustees Rebecca McAvoy in 2008-2009 and Chris Wallisack in 2009-2010. Rebecca and Chris and the executive provided the student senate many rich opportunities for leadership and faith development, including their roles in the successful Justice Youth Day. Their leadership is greatly appreciated. Expenditures totaled $147.6 million for the fiscal year ending August 31, 2009. The graphs you are seeing now show actual revenues and expenditures for the 2008-2009 year by category and by object. The Board remains dedicated to providing a quality Catholic education for our students while maintaining fiscal responsibility. On October 8, 2009, St. Joseph's School in Toledo celebrated the official opening and blessing of the new addition to the school. Over 150 people from the school and community gathered to celebrate this special event. The Liturgy of the Word was celebrated by Father Julius with the assistance of the school choir. Meanwhile, students in Prescott have settled into the new St. Mark Catholic School. It opened this September bringing together the Catholic school communities of St. Mark and St. Joseph. A blessing ceremony is planned for June for this new school. Elsewhere, students and staff have made good use of the four-classroom addition at Mother Teresa Catholic School in Russell. And plans are well underway for a 22-classroom addition at St. Michael Catholic High School and a 12-classroom addition to St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic High School. These projects are scheduled for completion in 2011. The board hosted the first annual Bravo Breakfast Awards this past February. This special event honors the unsung heroes who walked the halls of our Catholic schools. Proud parents looked on as 50 students, one from each of the board's elementary and secondary schools, accepted awards they had earned for simply being themselves. Some of the recipients overcame adversity and personal challenges to remain positive influences for their peers, while others helped the less fortunate in their communities. Their positive outlook resonates through their school. One thing all the recipients had in common is that they were significant, positive contributors and have an incredible effect on everyone they meet. In conclusion, we should all be extremely proud of what we have accomplished this past year. I'd like to extend a personal thanks to the Ministry of Education, in particular the Ottawa Regional Office for their support. It takes many people to make an organization successful. Students, parents, staff, trustees, and community partners continue to be so supportive of what we do each and every day. Our walk continues, and I thank all of those that continue to be part of our vision and mission. God bless. Like